depending on what part of the world you live on and what time you are seeing this, my sweet baby love. But nonetheless, whenever this message finds you, I promise you, that is when it's meant for you. Time does not exist. It is an illusion. It is never too late. It is never too early. The only thing that matters is right now in this very moment. Because in this moment is where your power lies. In this moment okay, is where you are creating your life by the things and the thoughts that you are thinking. Did I say that right? (laughs) But you know what I mean, okay? And in this moment is where you actually make the decisions and take the steps to walk away from the past into your beautiful future. Oh, my loves, I hope that you have took the initiative to meditate, okay? Do something on a spiritual level that is going to feed your soul, meditating affirmations, okay? Making a gratitude list and above all, I hope that you have looked in the mirror some point today, all right? Or turn your phone around to selfie mode. Give yourself 10 seconds of intense, okay, eye-to-eye contact. And I want you to simply say, okay, I want you to insert your name and then say, I'll say my name just to give an example, Latoria, I love and accept you for who you are, okay? And just keep repeating that to yourself. Just keep reassuring that to yourself. I looked at myself in the mirror, honey, and I was like, girl, I love you. I need you to know that I am proud of you. So many times we're waiting for that, that, you know, that hand clap or, you know, that pat on the back or you're doing a good job. I want you to, in 2020, make it your thing to be that for yourself, okay? So, my love muffins, I am so honored to be given this beautiful message that the divine has placed on my heart for the beautiful soul that is watching this video. One of the things that spirit wants us to know right now in this very energy is that you are never stuck. And the moment that you decide to accept yourself and face your fears, so much beauty awaits you. So I wanna share something with you guys that I witnessed today. It happened super early and I was actually there in the midst of it um, with the family, um, a family member, and I know they're not gonna mind me talking about this, but Sometimes throughout life, okay, we can forget who we are. We can forget how important we are. We can forget how amazing we are. We can forget that we are incredible. We can forget (laughs) that there is so much wisdom, so much greatness inside of us. Just things that have happened in life, you know, currently or things in the past, you know, from childhood and family and mommy issues and daddy issues and just kind of all kinds of issues, <laughs> you know, we can forget. And I watched this beautiful soul, this courageous soul and um, confront his fears, confront his past. And I actually watched this person cry, which was phenomenal because this person Mind you, Taurus, never, has never spilled. You get what I'm saying? And um, in this moment, as this person is crying and facing that fear, facing that, um, you know, (laughs) you know, really coming to acceptance of some things, um, 
jump in. I gotta give you like I'm trying to give you like the the background fast. Like, needless to say, this person has been has had this hard exterior all of their life. This person was always a person who you know you know really worked and just really put forth the the effort, went to school and did all of these amazing things. Um, but he kind of got knocked off balance and got into trouble and then got in a whole nother way of going. And before you know it, getting mixed in drugs and different things, he has a felon. And it's really hard, you know, for him to find work and to find, um, you know, you know, because sometimes we, you know, try to find a job. It's hard for him to try to find a job. And, um, you know, there was a heated situation and I'm just watching the fa- I'm just watching it unfold with, you know with the family and I'm just like oh god you know I don't want to interject myself no one not asking me anything like they're not gonna be like shut your little guru ass up nobody asked you you know when you're around that family so I'm like mm, you know just scale it back but I watched you know these two individuals rip into each other and just you know spear things from the past and then you know the individual that had the major breakthrough there was a situation of you know um, one way or a form, a mother situation got brought, brought up and was like, your mother don't even, you know, do this. And then, you know, this individual, the guy, he just exploded. The family member just exploded. And he was like, what do you mean? You don't know anything about it. When I was at my lowest of lows, when I, you know, went away, they stole from me $50,000. That was the money that I was going to build my life. And I was going to do this. And, and you can like, as he was talking, cause you know, I could lit like he literally morphed into another time zone. And he went there and I actually felt that pain and I actually felt what it was that he was going through and how, you know, because of that moment and what happened and that pain that he experienced for someone that he loved and he cared about. And, you know, it just devastated it shattered him. And mind you, he like 40 now. So this had to happen like in his, he had to, it had to happen in his younger years. You get what I'm saying? It don't even matter. 15, 20 years. That thing is still very real, still very potent and still, um, you know, helping like make, he's making decisions off of that past hurt, you know? And I watched him, you know, just all of a sudden he exploded and was just, this person is very hardcore guys and was crying and then like hitting the wall. And then, you could just feel like everything just melt away as he realized, you know, he finally confessed it out of his mouth, the way that he felt about his mother, the way that, you know, that had hurt him. But I guess for so long that he kept it in for so long, like he just didn't want to say anything, you know, cause he did probably didn't want to offend. And you know what I'm saying? Like trying to keep it up, trying to keep those emotions in. And, you know, in that moment, I was like, you know what, if, if I get, you know, cussed out left, you know what? I'll just take it. And I just went to him and I just told him, you know, I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you for accepting that. I'm so proud of you. Um, and I let him know I'm proud of him for crying. I'm proud of him for not, you know, um, keeping it in. And I let him know that there is nothing weak about what you're doing. It's nothing weak of you expressing yourself, you know? And, you know, I told him, you know, what happened to him? Because you're mindful when people are like in the, you know, in that mode, you don't want to say just get over it and get on. You get what I'm saying? Because I told him, I said, time does not heal all fucking wounds. That is a lie. <laughs> okay. And, um, you know, I let him know, you know, how you feel is very valid. I want you to allow your, yourself to feel those emotions. I want you to allow yourself to allow these things to come up. I want you to cry or do whatever, yell, do whatever it is that you need to do. Okay. So you can move on, you know, because this incredible soul, the $50,000, that is a lot of money. Um, but just the, the per the person that I know, and just the way that this mind works, if he would have moved on, if he would have came into acceptance and faced those fears, you know, um, I know for a fact that he would have made that 20 times back. (laughs) Okay. Um, and I told him like, listen, I don't care whatever you've been through. Or whatever you're going, whatever you're going through, whatever you've been through. You know, I spoke life in him and reminded him of who he is. I don't care. We ain't talking about the future who you, we're not talking about the past you. I'm talking, listen, you are an amazing soul. You are smart, you know? And like I told him, 
You put gold in mud, guess what? It's still gold, <laughs> okay? So with that little story, I felt like that was so liberating because, you know, to me, that was the definition of you're not stuck. You are never stuck. At any moment, you can choose to move forward with accepting yourself right now as you are, okay? And facing your fears, inviting your fears to tea. I wanted to share that liberating story with you guys and just really let you know, in this very moment, you are never stuck. And I want you to love yourself and accept yourself for who you are, no matter what you said you were gonna do, but you didn't. Listen, let, let all of that go and love you, okay? That is your ticket to success. That is your ticket to freedom. That is your ticket to all of the desires of your heart right here is accept yourself and it reads while there is a time and a place for self-improvement today's focus is on everything that that's already great about you let go of who you think you should be and fall madly in love with who you are in this moment when you accept yourself exactly as you are you shift from living for tomorrow to appreciating today. Accept yourself, sweetheart, because you, my love, are amazing. You are amazing just the freaking way you are, okay? Now, one of my things to do for 2020 is to read a book a day. Not a book a day, <laughs> a book a week. And one of the books that I am reading, okay, is my favorite. It is you Can Heal Your Life by Louise Hay. I'll link it down below because I, um, if you don't have the actual book or you don't have Audible, they actually have the book on YouTube and you can read it and then, you, you know, you listen to it straight through or just listen to it throughout the day, then come back. You don't have to give it a week. You can make it your book for the year. You can make it your book for the month. You can make it your book just for now until you find something else. But I invite you to read this book because Louise Hay has been one of the amazing, beautiful souls that has really transformed my life through self-love, self-worth, and self-acceptance. It's just so beautiful. <laughs> okay, so I'll leave that down in the description box and also in the comment section where you can find it on YouTube. But it is freaking phenomenal and it is really going to help you accept yourself. Because one of the beautiful things about 2020, it has been a massive reset. You know, everybody was doing that 2009 and 2019 challenge is because, you know, 10 is the number of completion. So after a completion, after, you know, an ending, what comes next? A beginning. And that is what 2020 signifies for everybody on a collective level, okay? Spirit told me that the playing fields are leveled, okay? Nothing is in your way of being you, having what it is that you desire, and want for yourself, nothing baby. And the way that you get there is by accepting yourself, okay? And invite your fears to tea. In this moment, I want somebody to know that you don't need to try to be anybody else. You don't need to, to try to fix yourself. You don't need to work on yourself. All you need to do is accept yourself in this very moment. Love who you are in this very moment. I don't care whatever you're going through, whatever you're experiencing. I want you to love you. Try that. I need you to love you for the person that you are right now. All of you. Even those parts of you that you may desire to hide. I want you to love them. I want you to carry them. I want you to, you know, do something in 2020, man. Stand boldly and accept all of yourself. Love every ounce of you. Because when you do that, my love, that is how you obtain all of the desires of your heart. Because when you accept yourself wholeheartedly, there's no one that you have to defend. You don't have to defend yourself. You don't have to pretend to be something that you're not. You simply allow yourself to be, to do, and to feel, which is truly liberating, which is truly beautiful, okay? So... The next thing that we have is invite your fears to tea, okay? And this is just what yourself wants you to know in this very moment, both of these cards. It says, fears are not 
Fears aren't facts. Often they're just scary thoughts or feelings. Instead of judging your fears, invite them to tea. Offer them a cookie and have a chat. Listen to what they have to say. When we're courageous enough to be with what scares us, <laughs> we receive powerful wisdom. So today is the beautiful January the 3rd, number three, which is the number of creation to me. Creation, your sacral chakra. <laughs> okay, so I really feel like what spirit wants you to know, how to create a life that you love, okay? And get all of the beauty that is here for you in 2020. Okay, so what we're gonna do is just See, what is going on in this very moment, okay? What does your soul want you to know in this very moment? What is it that your soul wants you to know? I feel like we're all, you know, going on a beautiful journey, <laughs> okay? We're all going on a beautiful journey, and I just want to see what is it your soul wants you to know about this beautiful, beautiful journey, okay? so sorry guys for hitting the camera as i was picking up this deck look what was on the bottom it says mirror who or what is triggering you okay who or what is triggering you in in this very moment okay everything in our life is a mirror <laughs> is a reflection or a projection so let's just see let's go ahead and clarify these cards go for those one to come go ahead and get one more for this one guys i'm literally out here roughing it with my nails my nail tech is on vacation. <laughs> oh, 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 my God. Okay, so don't mind them. So let's go ahead and clarify these. Let me clarify this. Okay. Well, there we go. <laughs> Okay, so let's go ahead and change. Oh, one of the things that I, I want to talk about really quick, as I was picking up this deck to shuffle, on the bottom of this deck, I, I seen the card mirror, okay? And it said, who or what is triggering you? So this is what I want to let the beautiful soul know that is watching this video. Whatever or whoever, okay, is triggering you. It could be in your finances. It could be in your love relationships. Um, because one of the cards that came out, but I put it back in, and this love was give a partner space. So I feel like that could be an additional message for somebody else. But it said, give a partner space, be it in a love relationship, a family relationship, a friend, it don't matter. Um, here it is. It says, give each other space. It says, sometimes it's hard to work out our differences when we don't have enough space. So take a step back to create room for authentic conversation. Perhaps you need to consult with a therapist to guide you through the emotional thick. Yeah, the emotional thick. Or maybe you just need some new tools for healthy communication. Whatever it is, don't try to fix it right now. Give each other space, okay? But one of the things that I'm really learning to do, guys, is to turn that mirror, realizing that everyone is a mirror in my life, okay? Um, and I can use every lesson in every situation as a way to accept myself more and to love myself more. And sometimes people will be going through something else that has nothing to do with you. And then sometimes we can just make that about us and feel like we're doing something wrong. And, you know, just all, just all of these other things. I just want you to understand you're a mirror, 
okay? And people are mirrors and sometimes they project things onto you or we receive things differently, you know? So sometimes we just have to create some space. I don't know who needed to hear that, but I felt guided to share that card that came out. So we'll just go ahead and see what it is that spirit wants us to know right now in this very moment, okay? So the first card we have is great adventure. Take a risk, okay? Venture forward. So I feel like in this moment, spirit is asking you to step out of your norm, step out of your usual element, okay? Come out of your comfort zone. And it says discovering the truth. You stand in the light of truth. Coupled with the in initiation, rite of passage, you're going somewhere sacred. Sorry, guys. <laughs> right here. And then as far as the tarot, we have the magician. Yes. <laughs> so this is what I'm seeing. I need to fix this. Off bat, what I feel like you are integrating today in your life with great adventure and discovering the truth, okay? You stand in the light of truth. Take a risk, venture forward. And with the title that spirit placed on my spirit, you are never stuck. It has been made very clear that it's time to take a new path, okay? It's time to try something new. It's time to look at a situation in a new light. It's time to do something new. It's time to pursue the desires of your hearts. It's time for you to open up, okay, to healing. It's time for you to open up to change. It's time for you to open up to love. And the first step that I really feel that you did was to accept yourself wholeheartedly. You had to look at your truth, kind of just like my beautiful, courageous, um, family member did had to come at a whole acceptance of their self in this moment this is truly how you create a life that you love this is truly how you allow beauty in is by accepting yourself a hundred and ten percent okay and I feel like because the boat is going this way the person is looking this way Okay, and have the initiation, but it's going this way. Okay, so I feel like there's a choice to be made and then follow right behind it. We have the magician. This is the card of manifesting. This is the card of even though it's not the fool, but I you like you the, the unknown. You're about to create a whole new being, a whole new way, a whole new life for yourself. This is true magic. This is this. This is the energy of miracles. Okay. But I feel like you have to admit, you have to make a decision because this path is less traveled. Look at it. Okay. Yeah. Look at, you know, just look, look at, look at all this around it. The gray. Okay. The rite of passage. It might, I feel like the decision that you have to make. Okay. What direction that you're going to listen to. I feel like it's a decision between your head and your heart. Your head might be taking you this way. <laughs> okay, we're going to say the logic. But then your heart is asking you to trust spirit, to trust the unknown, to trust the what if, you know, the miracle of life. What if it goes right? What if you go this direct, what if you come out of your comfort zone? What if you put yourself out there? What if you take a chance? a chance and it goes right? What if you do the work, believe in yourself, you know, set yourself up this year, <laughs> you know, read the books, go to the class, you know, I don't know, start your YouTube, you know what I'm saying? Open up to love, put yourself out there, be vulnerable, you know, be willing to heal. What if you do all of these beautiful things and something magical comes at the end, okay? But I want to read, I want to read Discovering the Truth. Yeah, that's the one I want to read because I feel like that's, okay, here we go. It says, you stand in the light of truth, card meaning, okay? Listen to the wisdom that rises from your soul, even if those around you don't agree. Trust your instincts. 
Be yourself, whatever the situation and response from your authentic place inside, okay? Be honest with yourself, speak your truth, live your truth. And listen, even as I'm reading this, when I first started this, it was kind of hard because maybe you have to make a decision. You know, one of the things that my sister is always saying, listen, you want different, you got to do different, (laughs) you know? I feel like in this moment, someone is being asked to follow their soul, okay? But it also says, it says a sacred traveler wants you to know. If you are facing a decision and your mind says one thing and your heart says another, follow the voice of the heart and you'll be on the right path. If you get a nudge to speak to somewhere or go into a particular direction, excuse me guys, don't hesitate. Follow this guidance on your journey, okay? Others may indicate what path you should take and why. You can listen to their advice. However, if your heart indicates another way, follow that. There's a place inside of yourself that always knows the truth. Take the time to be still, to discover the genuine place of knowing within. Often the hardest thing about living your truth is discovering what it is. So it's important to slow down, be quiet, and listen to the whispers of your soul. If there is an area of your life in which you're not being authentic or where you're not in integrity with your values, this is the time to make some changes, okay? And you're being called on a sacred path. So we have the magician right here. And yes, the magician is all about miracles, all about, um, you know, personal power. That's what I feel in the traditional tarot deck um, and manifesting. But I love the interpretation that this particular deck gives of the magician, Because the magician just really signifies power, your personal power, your power of choice, okay? A magician creates magic, is a creator. So this is your personal choice today. And you have to make a decision, okay? To go on a great um, adventure, to discover your truth, that truth being what it is that you desire, what it is that you love, what it is that you want for yourself, okay? You know, to follow your heart, Or, (laughs) you know, and take this, take this sacred journey, take this road, this less, less traveled, you know, or you can continue to be stuck. There we go. That's, that's just what it is. (laughs) You can, you know, really just be stuck, stuck in an old pattern, stuck in an old way of thinking, stuck in a cycle that, you know, it's, it's not ideal for you when it comes to your finances. That's, that's not ideal for you when it comes to love, you know, all of these different things. So, um, the magician, I love how they have the feather because, you know, a feather signifies like a bird. And I always think of like, even though it's not a white one, like a dove, something lighthearted, something, you know, something light, something flowing. And then we have the all, the the evil eye, you know, the all knowing eye, but it's like the evil eye. And they interpreted this card as being with power comes a decision. It's all about how you choose to use your power and what you choose to do with your power. Are you going to keep your power and stay stuck? And situations and and things that you know that don't serve you and things that you know that don't grow you and things that you know it's just not ideal for you and what you want for your life? Or are you going to be bold and take a chance on love? Take a chance on putting yourself out there. Take a chance on dancing on the edge of your dreams. You know, 2020 is truly the year to have whatever it is that you desire be it love and your finances, you know, like all of that is real for you. A love like you never knew. Okay. Financial freedom, like you never knew inner peace, like you never knew, but it's going to take you to take a path that is less travel. And that path is for you to honor your heart, follow your heart, listen to your heart, not your head. (laughs) Okay. But that can be very hard. That can be very hard. But once you accept yourself wholeheartedly, okay, what your soul is asking you to do in this time and face your fears, it's easy. 
when you look at it, why, why, why do you feel the way? Why don't you want to leave your comfort zone? Why, why, you know, why don't you want to, you know, participate or put yourself out there? It stems from fear. It stems from not accepting yourself wholeheartedly. Of course, when you don't accept yourself, you're going to try to hide yourself, you know? So yeah, that's what spirit gave me. And then next we have the mystic healer, okay? Because I feel like the path that that you take is really going to be, um, in 2020, there's a lot. And in this moment too, guys, I know I keep saying 2020 because this, this shit is real and it's delicious and I love it. It says, mystic healer, healing energy flows through you. I feel like the path that you're being asked to go for some of you, even in like, I feel like in career and in love, it has something to do with your life purpose, your soul purpose, okay? <laughs> and we also have the um, star mother. How can you mother yourself? You are a healer. The first thing, you know, how, you know, you really, the initiation to really having the desires of your heart is to first Heal your own heart and find those things that you desire outside of you, inside of you. So followed by that, my loves, we have Anna. It says, grandmother of Jesus, seeding the light, laying foundations, divine plan. So I feel like the decisions that you're making today is really going to lay down your foundation and what you build upon. So spirit is asking you right here with this eight of cups, okay? The eight of cups. When I, when I see that card right there, <laughs> we're going to zoom in. I'm seeing pack light. Only take what needs to go. And um, I want to I read <laughs> the definition. But even with looking at these cups right here, with the eight of cups here, we know that the eight of cups is all about um, a journey. I feel like you're being asked to make a decision. Okay, to really follow your heart for so long, maybe you have followed followed your mind, follow your followed your lo logic and not listened to your heart, and you've seen where that got in you. Okay, <laughs> before you knew it, look, your cups were falling. I feel like you have a new foundation. Oh, and I'm I'm just seeing like how you know the blue is coming out, and I feel like. In the past, maybe you didn't honor your truth. Maybe you didn't listen to your heart, okay? And it went left. <laughs> and I'm seeing that right now, spirit is asking, you can make a decision to, you can make a decision to take the journey less traveled, to really stand in your truth, to really honor you, okay? Pack light, declutter, move away from what's not, what's not serving you so you don't have to continue to go through this. Okay, I want to read this eight of cups to you guys. Okay, it says upright, move on, transition. Change can be hard, so pack your essentials, but travel light. With these cups precisely stacked, there is bound to be some spill and breaks. Okay, destruction and creation go hand in hand. So listen, you're being asked to leave what needs to be left behind. Okay, because you better believe wherever you're being asked to go, Whatever your heart is asking you to do, yes, it may be hard, okay? It may be you taking a chance. It may be you leaving one life, but what you are entering into is so much better, okay? And you're going to be so much happier <laughs> is what I'm seeing right now. So let's go ahead and see these last cards. We, it says, journey by moonlight, believe in magic, this is where you're being asked to go, to believe in miracles, follow your heart, listen to your heart, okay? And just simply say yes, just say yes. Just say yes. Just say yes to accepting yourself wholeheartedly. Just say yes to confronting your fears. Just say yes to the changes that are presenting themselves. Just say yes to the love, okay, of your life. Just say yes to financial freedom and the change in careers and really honoring yourself, okay? 
because this is truly the way that you solve your problems. And we have the Knight of Swords right here, okay? And this is all about, the Knight of Swords is a problem problem solver. We know what a knight is. It's to protect. Okay. The knight of swords, the sword of truth is upright. Okay. It says the knight of swords, the knight of swords shows a large cat with a sword drawn. He is all about movement, time to prepare for battle and stand up for yourself and your beliefs. This positive card symbolizes courage and strength. It is time it is time to follow your heart. It is time to stand up for what it is that you desire and what it is that you believe. It is time to know that you are never stuck and at any moment you can change your life by the decisions that you make. Okay, so I love you so freaking much. Go have an amazing day. I will see you on my channel. Okay, um, and hopefully the videos hurry up and um, download. <laughs> All right, I love you guys, and I will catch you later. Take care. Follow, she blazing.